chicken, which is super lean, super easy to cook. I love it because you just pluck the whole thing in the oven for 20 minutes and you've got a nice lean protein that you can do a whole bunch of different things with. So that's what it looks like in the store. You guys are all familiar with it, right? Okay, and then I've got mango chutney. That's already prepared, and I've got a. This looks like a Scotch bonnet, or um, you could use a habanero. It's another spicy <coughs> dish. I'm just gonna get that right in there. And then the prepared chutney, which you can find everywhere now. I've done this recipe with preserves too: apricot preserves, orange marmalade, something for like <coughs> something for the sweetness, because you know pork kind of likes to be partnered with with fruit. So this makes a, it just makes a nice uh, coating before you roast it. Okay, that's that. And again, I didn't have to touch that pepper. And it's perfectly blended in there. And then this, this you just brush right on top of the pork tenderloin. Do this with turkey tenderloin. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. You could just make this for something over chicken breasts, and then use the extra chicken breasts in that chicken salad. So we're stretching the dollar these days too. I'm sure you're finding that in your in your blogs that you people really want to know how to stretch the dollar and the meal. Okay, that gets baked in the oven, and while that's baking, you can make this awesome unique guacamole that I call Cuban because it's got um, pineapple and cilantro and lime juice and some Cuban. Everybody here know how to get the get out of the, um, an avocado? You all do? I have stitches to prove that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was just stupidity, not. Uh, well, why are you trying to do it like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you how to not do it like that. <laughs> I haven't done it like that. Before. Here's here. Yeah, well, you saw I cut it in half. First it's peeled, you cut it in yeah. half, and you twist it, and then you see the pit. And yeah, I remember the first time I did it on the Food Network, I was like, they were like, wait, 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 don't do it in your hand. It's because Emerald did it. This was yeah. like 10 years ago. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that anymore on the Food Network. So yeah. you take, and you all see, you just take the knife, and you get it into the pit and then you twist it. But don't do it in your hand. Right. <laughs> do you see her? She threatened you with a knife. Don't do it in your hand. <laughs> it took me six years to get the feeling back. <laughs> and then you just take that out of the with that in. I did that with um, slicing a bagel. I have a nice little scar too. Slicing a bagel in my hand. You got some fresh lime juice. Fresh cilantro, cumin, which adds a nice toasty note to it, and some pineapple. And if you get canned pineapple, the chunks are even smaller. So, and the, the wonderful thing about guacamole is they're all different kinds. It's chunky, it's smooth. That's what I was saying before about the, the salsa. You can have it however you want it. Once that pork comes out of the oven, you can serve it with the with the guac. Actually, I think it's the, in my book. I nestle the pork, so I put the guacamole down first, and then I nestle the pork. So you've got the flavors of the avocado, the cumin, the lime juice, and the pineapple, and the cilantro as the base, and then you've got like the spicy pork on top. So can you all see that? <laughs> 